Throughout human history, the desire to preserve the dead has reflected our reverence for life and the mysteries of death. From ancient Egypt to the mortuaries of the modern world, embalming has evolved into both a scientific process and a significant tradition. But embalming is more than a means of preserving bodies. It is a window into cultural, religious, and scientific advancements over millennia. In this video, we'll explore the story of human embalming, delving into the methods, the reasons, and the enduring legacy of this practice, which continues to shape how we honor and remember those who have passed. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The roots of embalming can be traced back to ancient civilizations, with the most notable examples found in ancient Egypt. The Egyptians believed in an eternal afterlife, where the soul would need its physical body. Mummification was an intricate embalming process developed by ancient Egyptians to preserve the bodies of the deceased, especially pharaohs and elites, for the afterlife. The procedure began with the removal of the internal organs, which were either discarded or preserved separately in canopic jars, as the heart was often left in place due to its symbolic importance. The body was then dehydrated using natron, a naturally occurring salt, which was packed inside the body and applied externally to draw out moisture, preventing decomposition. After several weeks of drying, the body was meticulously wrapped in layers of linen bandages, often with resin or oils applied between the layers to further preserve and seal the body. Finally, the wrapped mummy was placed in a tomb with offerings for the journey to the afterlife, ensuring the deceased's body remained intact for thousands of years, as seen in the remarkably well-preserved mummies discovered in modern times. While Egypt often steals the spotlight, embalming was not exclusive to this civilization. Across the globe, other cultures developed their preservation techniques, often reflecting their unique beliefs about death and the afterlife. In South America, the Chinchorro culture of modern-day Chile and Peru practiced mummification as early as 5000 BCE. The Chinchorro mummies were meticulously crafted, with bodies being disassembled, treated, and reassembled with materials like clay and reeds to ensure durability. Greek philosophers like Herodotus wrote about Egyptian embalming practices, which influenced Roman funeral rites. Meanwhile, in China, the ancient Chinese practiced body preservation by using jade burial suits for royalty, believing jade had protective and purifying properties. These practices highlight a shared human desire to transcend mortality, although expressed in diverse ways. As we move into medieval Europe, embalming took on a new role, influenced by religious and medical advancements. Christianity played a significant part in shaping funeral practices, emphasizing the resurrection of the body. While embalming was not widely practiced among the general population due to its cost, it was reserved for royalty, clergy, and nobility. During the Middle Ages, Embalming became more scientifically grounded. Physicians and anatomists began to study the human body in greater depth, and embalming provided an opportunity to preserve cadavers for dissection. This was a significant period for understanding human anatomy, as preserved bodies allowed for detailed study that would have been impossible otherwise. In the Renaissance, Anatomists like Andreas Vesalius and Leonardo da Vinci used embalming to preserve cadavers for study, advancing knowledge in medicine and art. Da Vinci, in particular, created intricate anatomical sketches based on dissected embalmed bodies, contributing immensely to the understanding of human anatomy. This period also saw the development of more advanced embalming fluids, Alcohol-based solutions and natural preservatives like myrrh and camphor were refined to better delay decay. The Renaissance marked a turning point where embalming was not just about honoring the dead, but also about serving the living through medical education and artistic exploration. 
By the 18th and 19th centuries, embalming had transformed into a sophisticated science. In Europe, chemists began experimenting with arsenic, mercury, and other chemicals to achieve better preservation results. The French anatomist Jean Ganal published one of the first manuals on modern embalming techniques in 1838, introducing innovations that would influence funeral practices worldwide. Embalming gained significant attention during the American Civil War. The war saw thousands of soldiers dying far from home, and families wanted their loved ones' bodies returned for burial. Embalmers, often traveling with the armies, used techniques to preserve bodies for transportation. This period also popularized the use of formaldehyde, which remains a cornerstone of embalming today. Dr. Thomas Holmes, often called the father of modern embalming, played a pivotal role during this time. He developed a method to inject chemical solutions into the body's circulatory system, significantly improving preservation. His work laid the foundation for the embalming methods used in funeral homes to this day. In the 20th century, embalming became a standard practice in many, many countries, particularly the United States. The rise of funeral homes and the professionalization of mortuary services made embalming widely accessible. It became a way to give families more time to grieve and say goodbye, especially in cases where viewings or open casket funerals were desired. However, attitudes toward embalming vary globally. For example, in many Islamic and Jewish traditions, burial takes place as soon as possible after death, with no embalming involved. In contrast, Embalming is often mandatory in places where bodies must be transported over long distances or delayed for legal reasons. Modern embalming is a detailed multi-step process that combines chemical injection, drainage, and cosmetic restoration to preserve and restore the body, allowing for a lifelike appearance during viewings. The procedure typically begins with the removal of bodily fluids, often through the carotid, which are then replaced with a mixture of embalming fluids to preserve the tissues and prevent decomposition. These fluids spread throughout the body, helping to firm the tissues and maintain the body's appearance. Additionally, a trocar is used to remove bodily fluids from the abdominal cavity, after which stronger preservatives are injected into the cavity to further prevent internal decay. The goal of modern embalming is not only to preserve the body, but also to ensure it looks as lifelike and dignified as possible for final farewells. The history of human embalming is a testament to humanity's enduring relationship with life, death, and memory. From the sacred rituals of ancient Egypt to the scientific advancements of the modern era, embalming reflects our attempts to preserve not just bodies, but also legacies and connections. Embalming today blends historical traditions with scientific advancements, allowing families to honor the dead with respect and care, while also adapting to diverse cultural and legal needs across the world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.